Yeah, so what's going on? I'm going to be showing you a quick video on how to create two views in a single video. It's quite easy to do. Just follow the following video now that we have to tutorial on how to do it. What you've got to make sure is your camera does not move during the whole process. And you have a boundary, an invisible line, for example, this line here, down the side, you do not cross that with your own person. To do that, very simple. What's going on? Matt Hilliard will be showing you that video you've just seen and how to create it. Bear in mind that when I created this video you're watching now, this part of the video, this process you're watching now created the video you've seen at the beginning. So first of all we're going to press the add media button, files and folders, choose your video, which in my case is um, this one. When the media is added, if you're, already, if you're on quick at the top, change it to expert. That's where you want to be. And from your video, drop it onto your timeline onto video 1. Then, as you can see, if I skip through my video quickly, you've got me talking here. Then at the end of it, me talking here. At some point during the video, I move over. And as you can see, that is around here, yeah? So I'm going to choose the cut off point there, chop the video into two of the point where I move and move the second half of the video into the video audio two above. That way now you'll see we've got the, the, foot, the video of the left side which is there And the video of the right on the video of the right side, so you've got basically two different videos on top of each other at the minute. What you want to do now is you want to roughly try and get it all in time correctly. So you've got to watch each video individually. So I'm going to watch this. <coughs> right, I'd want to cut the first part of this video because I don't want to have the me walk. I want just me stood there. So as I play it, I want to cut it from about here. So if I press the scissors tool, that will cut the video. This little bit that I've created that you can very hardly see. I'll delete that. That's gone. So now it shouldn't show me walking exactly right. It shows me just stood here, yeah? which is what we want. Now on the set video number two, I want to cut the silence from me starting to walk to the camera. I want to start from around there. I want the in to be roughly here. Yeah, videos are similar length now. At the end of the video where I started to walk, I want to cut that out on this video where I started to walk to the other side of the camera. The other side of the screen, I want to cut that out, which was there. So I'm going to cut from there, about there. And that's the out, yeah? Videos are a similar length now. Now well, basically, what you want to do is at the bottom click on your effects button then search and you want to search for 8 EIGHT you should see 8 point mat garbage mat on the 8 point garbage mat you want to put that on your video number 2 and you'll see you've got a funny outline appeared on your video on the right hand side you click on applied effects and 8 point garbage mat this will allow you to reposition the map. I tend to go for st straight lines if I can so that you don't really see the split between them so I'm going to go for here and go straight down the tiles of the kitchen so if you watch you'll see what I mean straight down that tile there If you can't always help it because you don't always have lines, but then straight to the ground. Then 
we should cover the rest of the video everything's good that's done now as you can see we've got two me's in the video now you press enter it'll render it it'll only take a couple of seconds <coughs> I'll resume recording when it's finished yo people so the video's finished rendering now and if you watch I'm just gonna click play You'll see everything kind of works out right. Basically, I'm just going to pause it there. As you'll see from before, the lines that we used were on our 8 point garbage map was down that crack, across there, down there. I also went across to that and down that black bit and led down to the ground and out of the picture and around. So that is it complete. Then all you've got to do is Go to publish and share, computer, choose your details that you want, so we're going to put it there, I'm just going to call it dup1 for duplicate 1. Um, choose your settings, we're just going to stick with HD 720p, 24 frames per second, high quality save, and yeah, that's that, so hope you enjoyed the video, comment, rate, subscribe, see you later. two views in a single video. It's quite easy to do. Just follow the following video now to be a tutorial how to do it. What you've got to make sure is your camera does not move during the whole process and you have a boundary, an invisible line for example, this line here down the tiles, you do not cross that with your own person. To do that, very simple. 